Strip. We're here at AVN 2015. We're here with Ella Darling. How are you? I am fantastic, darling. All right. Awesome. Now, um, how long have you been in the industry? I have been in the industry for a little over five years now, but I just started doing boy-girl this last year. Oh, okay. So you're doing girl-girl stuff before, and now you're doing boy-girl stuff. That's correct. Is that a big change for you? It's a huge change. It's awesome, though. I mean, it's obviously about a dick-sized change, so it's about like eight <laughs> inches of change, I suppose. But um, it's awesome. I really love it. It's. I was really intimidated about doing it, but I'm so happy that I did. Well, awesome, awesome. Now, I was reading your bio saying that you were kind of the smart kid in school and did a bunch of uh, geeky stuff. Uh, yeah, I still do. Okay. You like Dungeons and Dragons and sci-fi and all that good stuff? Yes, uh, hopefully my D&D group is going to be getting back together next week. So it's been like a month since we played. Awesome. So who's your, who's your favorite sci-fi writer? Oh my gosh. Uh, fucking, that's not fair. Uh, <laughs> it's Vegas. It's Everything is fair in Vegas. Oh my god, everything is fair in Vegas. I don't know, man. I really like... I know it's classic, but I really like the Ender's Game series. I thought okay. that was really good. Okay. I like Dune. Dune is really Dune good. Dune is good. Um, yeah, it's hard. I can't... Sanderson's good, Sanderson's you know? Good. Oh. I can't choose... I can no sooner choose a favorite star in the sky. Yeah, I, 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 I go through a lot of audiobooks, and I, I go listen to Sanderson and a lot of those uh, sci-fi writers, so it's like, oh, okay, I, I can con connect with it. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all good. So what made you get into porn? How did you start doing that? Well, I was a librarian, and I... Did you wear glasses? I do wear glasses. I have the best librarian did... glasses. Oh They're so cute. God. And why aren't you wearing that today? Because they actually don't look good on camera, because the lenses are all scratchy, because I am really bad with personal possessions. But so I was a librarian, and I'd been modeling for a few years, and I just woke up with a boyfriend, as it tends to happen. And um, I answered an ad on Craigslist for this like really softcore, hardcore bondage, softcore porn. So it was fully clothed, but I was like in cages and suspended from the ceiling. And oh, okay. I made more in an hour than I made in a day at the library, and I got a fucking master's degree to be a librarian. So that was a little sad. But yeah, then I wanted to move out to LA to uh, get married and to do porn, so I did. One of those was a great decision. <laughs> Let's say the doing porn was? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hey, I'm good at this game. <laughs> wow. So how do you get a master's in, in, in uh, library? library? I mean, is, is it like you got to know the Dewey Decimal System? Is that? <laughs> well, there's a lot. It's about um, like collection development and serving your population and cataloging and metadata and um, sys like... Okay, I'm lost already, so... It's fun. Yeah. Uh, you have to have an, a master's degree from an accredited university by the American Library Association to be a librarian, like wow. actual librarian. So there's much more to it than just putting the books back on the shelf. There is quite a bit more to it. There's, uh, you know, librarians are actually personal rights freedom fighters. Like librarians have gone to jail to protect our personal freedoms and to fight the uh, to fight the Patriot Act. All right. Well, cool. I like librarians, especially the ones with the glasses and the ponytail and the nice little short skirts. That is cool. Those are pretty awesome. Those are the best ones. Yeah. But those don't tend to not work at the library library. They're on the porn movies. So. It's true. Well, it's funny that you mentioned that because when I was a librarian, I was the hot librarian, and now I'm the smart porn star, a smart porn star. I hate... That's true. There are so many smart porn stars. Like, there are so oh, there many are. people that there are, are so brilliant and so educated, and I'm really lucky to work with some of the, the men and women in this industry in that way. Now, now is, is there, like, infighting and catfighting in the library? community? Do they fight amongst each other? Or they're all pretty cool. Um, I mean, there's always going to be people being fussy with each other, but they're actually pretty cool because there's like a common fight that we're all fighting together, or I guess I'm not one of them anymore. But yeah. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Well, I'll leave that alone. <laughs> well, let's talk about the sexy stuff. So, so what have you been shooting over the last year? I've been shooting a lot of fetish stuff, um, some parodies. I got to be in a parody of a movie called The Room, which is cult classic, one of the worst movies ever made. So that was really cool. Um, nice. I've been doing a lot of boy-girl stuff lately. Um, I'm a MILF now, apparently. Uh, no. Yep, no. yep. It's okay. You're not, an old, you're not old enough to be a MILF. I agree. I have a very long-winded explanation as to why I think that's the case. But I don't define myself by the roles I get cast in in a porno, so I can handle it. Oh, okay. That's good. Flip it. <laughs> All right, now back to the regularly scheduled program. 
Um, sexy. Yeah, we're talking about the sexy now. So you've been shooting a lot of fetish porn kind of stuff. You like the BDSM and that kind of, you kind of the, got the dark side to you. I do. Actually, I'm up for uh, Kinkiest Performer um, for Fan Awards, which I absolutely, I'm not being modest, I absolutely don't deserve to win, but I'm so honored to have been nominated yeah, for that. Very cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm pretty jazzed about yeah. it. So you like the spanking and the whipping and the tying oh, yes. up and oh, the yes. little nipple clips? Yes. The nipple clips are what make me cringe. I'm not a fan like of that. nipple. I can't do that. My nipples are too I, sensitive. I, yeah, I don't like that either. My head right now, like, I woke up this morning and I was like, did I hit my head on something? And I was like, nope, I've just had my hair pulled a lot over the past couple of days. Uh, so. Uh, so this is a working vacation as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, or is this just fun free time? That that was actually uh, extracurricular. Oh, okay, extracurricular. You, those are allowed, you know. <laughs> We do allow that for our porn stars to have sex on a regular basis outside of on set, you know. I get to have sexual autonomy? Yes, you do. You're fucking gentleman, my yes, gosh. I am. I am a gentleman. That is the least of my worries. <laughs> I'm a lot of other things, but that's the least of my worries. <laughs> You're fun. I like you. Oh, well, I hope so. So... Have you been signing at the booth out here? Um, I've been signing at the 101 Modeling booth. That's my agent. Oh, okay. I signed with them in July, and they've been so, so good to me. I love them. Although there's the APAC booth over here, which you can't see because it's behind the camera. Right. But APAC is the Adult Performer Advocacy Committee. Oh, I am okay. the secretary, so I'm on the board of APAC. Oh, nice. And we're signing up performers over here, and it's really awesome. We're doing some really great work for the performer community, and I'm really proud of us. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So have you have you met a, a bunch of fans that come in? Do you have any strange fans coming in, or is they mostly pretty cool? And uh... most of my fans are really cool. Um, they're really nice. They're just people who want to connect with someone who's sure. special. Has the same kink as they do. Yeah, or like they're fucking weirdos, but they're fucking weirdos in the same way that I'm a fucking weirdo. So we bond, and it's cool. Well, that's what internet and the, that's what the internet and porn's all about is getting your niche together with the right with the right crowd. Yeah. Oh. I have a cool thing. So in the past year, you asked me what I've been doing the past yes. year. Um, I'm starting a porn company called VRTube, and it's a virtual reality porn oh, wow. for something called the Oculus Rift. Or um, yes. there's other virtual reality headsets, but that's like the primary one on the market. And yeah, so I make. It's the only good one. <laughs> I can't. I'm not saying that. It's the only good one. Game Face is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. But you know, it's the one you can work with. It's open source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's the easiest. So that's what um, that's what is coming up for me. Hopefully, we're gonna launch this spring. It's oh really cool. cool. So I can sit at home and put on my Rift and and then watch people have sex and uh, uh, be yeah. virtual sex. It's gonna be really cool. There's actually a demo on our site right now that you can download right now. And watch. Very cool. Where's, right. the, where's the site? VRTube.xxx. Cool, cool. That's I always have. I always have a question for porn stars. You know, what do you think the future of porn is? I think that's it right there. Yeah, I absolutely. That and robots. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> have you ever seen? Have you ever seen the real touch? Uh, the 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 thing that's the the fake pussy and then and then they have oh, yeah, the, yeah. the vibrator. Yeah, yeah. Um, Vice did a documentary on the future of porn, yeah. and that was they also interviewed me for that. Oh, very cool. I saw it in that. I really want to use one or see one in action. I. Put, Last year, I put my fingers in the thing, and the girl was stroking it. It was the weirdest sensation. It was just like, oh, my God, that's weird. Do you think it would be sexy, or is it too weird to be sexy? I mean, I don't have a penis. It's, it's, it's uh, I think if you're watching the right scene, because they time it with the movies. Okay. So yeah. the movement on the movie is the same, the same as on the thing. So yeah, I think it would be good. That's something that I want to try to incorporate in the next year or two. I don't know. It's a, I can't really put out a time frame. But like in, incorporating the, um, the haptic touch, like the haptic yeah. sensors, that would be fucking cool. Yeah. It's seen just, just the fact that you know what haptic means. <laughs> I'm That's cool. Marian. Of course you know what haptic is. Right after, uh, it's right before I. <laughs> All right. So are you up for any awards this year? Um, so Kinkiest Performer. And then I think some of the movies that I was in are nominated. I should know. Um, I'm, yeah. Look on the website. Look on the website. Look on the website. Yeah. So is there anything else you want to promote or say before I let you go here? Um, follow me on Twitter at Ella Darling. It's E-L-A Darling. And um, all the other social media sites, my name doesn't change. <laughs> Ella Darling. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. And we hope you win. Thank you so much. All right.